India is contemplating the development of indigenous engines for its Arjun Mark Mk-18 tanks due to delays in the delivery of German engines originally designated for these vehicles. This decision follows an announcement by German manufacturers indicating a minimum four-year time frame for restarting production of these crucial engines. Faced with this challenge, India is exploring the feasibility of designing and manufacturing its own engine domestically. This ongoing project is anticipated to be completed more swiftly than the timeline proposed by German companies. Reports suggest an initial plan to deliver a limited number of tanks equipped with German engines, with a gradual transition to indigenous engines thereafter. In 2021, India placed an order for 118 main battle tanks, MBTs, Arjun Mark 1A, aimed at becoming the cornerstone of the Army's armored fleet. Valued at 7,523 crore, this acquisition is poised to significantly augment the capabilities of the heavy vehicles factory in Avadi, Chennai, which is responsible for the production of these tanks, commonly referred to as hunter killers. The Arjun, a third generation main battle tank, was developed by India's Defense Research and Development Organization, DRDO, for the Indian Army. The tank's development commenced in 1972 under the Combat Vehicles Research and Development Establishment, CAIRD, a DRDO laboratory. The initial batch of 16 production version Arjun tanks was delivered in 2004, forming a squadron within the 43rd Armored Regiment. This regiment was subsequently expanded to 45 tanks on May 25, 2009, marking the establishment of the 1st Arjun Regiment in the Indian Army. Manned by a crew of four, the Arjun is equipped with a 120mm rifled gun capable of firing apsts, kinetic energy penetrator, he, heat, and hesh, high explosive squash head, rounds at a rate of 6 to 8 rounds per minute. Additionally, the tank's gun can launch the Israeli-developed semi-active laser-guided Lahat missile. The Arjun can carry 39 rounds in specially designed blast-proof canisters. Its secondary armament comprises a 12.7mm anti-aircraft machine gun mounted on the commander's hatch turret and a 7.62mm coaxial machine gun. The turret and glassy of the Arjun are shielded by Kanchan modular composite armor, named after Kanchan Bog, Hyderabad, home to the Defense Metallurgical Research Laboratory, DMRL. Kanchan armor consists of composite panels sandwiched between rolled homogeneous armor, RHA, capable of fording apps and heat rounds. The Arjun MK-1A represents an upgraded iteration of the Arjun Mark I, boasting enhanced firepower, protection, and mobility. Modifications to the hull and turret provide a lower silhouette, rendering detection more challenging. Additionally, the tank is outfitted with newly developed thermobaric, TB, and penetration cum blast, PCB, ammunition. The Arjun MK-1A features an improved gunner's main sight, GMS, integrated with automatic target tracking, ATT, linked to a computerized fire control system that enhances first-round kill capability and ensures precise engagement even in adverse conditions. It also incorporates a panoramic sight, CPS Mark II with an integrated uncooled thermal imager and night vision camera with binocular sights, as well as a laser rangefinder for advanced hunter-killer capabilities. To enhance mobility despite increased weight, an advanced running gear system, ARGS, has been developed, completely redesigning the hydropneumatic suspension system to improve agility. In recent decades, India has made substantial strides in its defense strategy, prioritizing the indigenous development of military equipment. The nation has endeavored to reduce dependence on arms imports by fostering a robust national defense industrial base. This strategy has been underpinned by significant investments in research and development, enabling the local production of cutting-edge technologies such as the Arjun main battle tank, Agni ballistic missiles, and Tejas fighter aircraft. Concurrently, India has diversified its international partnerships, collaborating with various countries to acquire critical technologies while exploring new markets for defense exports. This pivot toward indigenization and supplier diversification not only bolsters India's strategic autonomy but also positions the country as a significant player in the global defense market, capable of meeting its own needs while offering viable solutions to other nations.